Uh, here's the deal. Unfortunately, it seems like word problems are some of the hardest things for young ones such as yourself to do. They're actually not too bad. They start off pretty easy. But here's the deal. The book tries to give you certain, um, I don't know, key phrases or patterns that you can see. And the first one we're going to talk about are the addition and subtraction ones. How do you know if a word problem wants you to add something together or subtract something together? And here's kind of the, if you see them talk about these words, this is what they mean. First of all, there's problems when you combine things together. Or if you're a farmer, you combine them. And humor there, very little. <laughs> when you combine things, the book says it's this type of, uh, in this type of a form. It is, you have some, and then you add some more to it. And that gives you your total. So if you hear them refer to a some plus a more problem, that's what they're talking about. They just go, some plus more equals total. That's just kind of their just right there. Um, and that's kind of the addition thing of it. With subtraction, you know something is a subtraction pattern type problem if it talks about separating things. Okay. For example, there's a class of 37th grade students and you separate the boys from the girls. That's a good indication that, that it is probably going to be a subtraction problem. And in subtracting, it is you start with, oh, let's see what they say here. Um, we start with uh, what? Da, 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 da. I'm trying to get, make sure I've got it the way they do it here. You start with some. You start with something, and then some goes away. There's that phone again. Let me hang up on something. Does everybody know how to hang up? Red button. I really try to. Turn this thing off. So when you have start with some and then some goes away, what you have here is what's left. So it's an S minus A equals what's left. Start with what sum you started with minus what goes away equals what you're left with. And the other subtracting thing that you look for is they talk about time. Okay, and that <coughs> looks like this. It is you take the greater thing, subtract the lesser thing from it. And you get what we like to call the difference. And an example of that might be, let's say, Abe Lincoln was born in. Abe Lincoln was born in. When would be a good time for Abraham Lincoln to be born? 1803. He died in, I don't know what year Abe Lincoln was shot, like 1865 or something like that? Sure, just agree with me. Sure. 1865. How old was Abe? Well, that is a separating, a subtracting problem. You take the greater time, which is 1865, subtract the lesser time, and you get the difference, which is... 62 years old. I don't know if that's true. You don't take me at word for that. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, and that is subtraction is also separating and comparing. When you talk about comparing, you know, if I ask you how much older you are than your brother or sister, you're comparing your ages, is that going to be addition or subtraction? You're going to add your ages together to do that? No. You are what? 12? What are you? Let's say you're 12, and Bella's brother is... How old's Gabe? Bella has no idea how old her brother is. The greater from the lesser, you're, you're uh, finding the difference in their ages. So, is he only five years older than you? That doesn't make sense. Seems like he's older. How old's Hannah? 14? 15? 16? She's almost 16. And Gabe is almost 18 then. So it must be. Yeah. <laughs> you're comparing their ages, so blah, blah, blah. Now, take a look in your books at page 22. Actually, let's write this one down. JFK was elected in 1960. Anybody know who JFK is? Yeah. JFK elected in 1960 when he was 43 years old. What year was he born? 1960. If I am trying to put this in this Many times you'll think this is more complicated than it has to be. And at some point, I, it probably is a little bit, but it's good to think in terms of patterns there. What type of problem is this? What type of problem? Remember the three we talked about separating, combining, or what was the other one? Don't make me go back. Combining, separating, or. Comparing. Which one do you suppose it is? Separating his age? Comparing his age? Right. Right. Separating. Could be separating his age. It's a it's a subtraction pattern problem, right? What do we know? Do you know what, anytime it talks about time, think about the greater minus the lesser equals the difference. Do you know, which of these three do you know? Right? You know the greater and the lesser? Ooh, that's an interesting concept. First of all, think about what the answer is going to be. Is it going to be less than 1960 or more than 1960? Less than 1960. Okay. So where is that going to go? The difference. Will it be here, here, or here? The difference is going to be 1,960 years. Actually, think about it. Think about it like this. Instead of this, it's the earlier time, the later time minus the earlier time equals the difference. What is forty-three? Earlier. How about this? Think about this. If you want to, if you want to know how old your parents are, because you already know how old you are, and you know the years they're born, and the year it is right now, where do those years go? The year right now would be the, the later year, which is what, 2015, correct? Minus what year were they born? Does anybody know what year their parents were born? 1983. So you end up with 2015 minus 1983. So if you're putting old JFK into that same pattern there, where does 43 go? 
right? That this one, this one, or this one. The difference? Yeah, 43 is the difference in the times. Is 1960 going to go here or 1960 going to go there? 1960 is going to go there. 1960. Minus what number? It's 43. Now, here's the problem, kids. This is a subtracting problem. If I have, if I give you this as a problem, how do you know what to do? 1960 minus n equals 43. How do you know if you're supposed to add or subtract Kayleen Shellhammer? This is a multi-million dollar question. I've told you this for thousands and thousands and thousands of years. Anytime you don't know what to do, Oh, uh, yeah, not right yet. Not just yet. Kaylin? Can you think of an easier problem? Think of an easy subtraction problem. What if I have 10 minus 6 is 4? How do I get 4? Or, I'm sorry, how do I get 6? We do a 10 and 4 to get 6. So that's the same thing you're going to do here. 1960 minus 43. John F. Kennedy was born in 1970. And again, I know you've got easier ways. You probably say that was really complicated and long, hard to get that. But this is teaching you kind of how to think when it gets to harder problems. And sometimes thinking isn't the most fun thing. I'll admit. Um, and that's a little more complicated probably than it has to be. I don't know. Should we try one more? Yes, sure. That's a good way to say that. Look at example letter E. Whoever Ben H is went to the theater with $20 and left the theater with $10.50. How much money did Ben spend at the theater? And I don't care about those of you who are new people here. I don't care necessarily about the answers. I care about how you get the answer. What type of problem is that? Is that a combining, a separating, or a, what was the other one? A what? Is it a separating, a comparing, or a combining thing? And you could make a case probably for both, but this one, what happens? When you go to a store with money and you buy something, are you combining something together? Well, you kind of are, but really what you're doing is you're taking your money and separating it into the change you get plus what you bought or what you spent. So this type of problem is a separating problem. What are we separating? You're taking what you started with, right? Separating what you spent and you have what's left. So what would you get? You start with 20 bucks, you subtract what? Does it give me, and I'm left with the change, right? Do I know how much change I have? You have ten dollars and fifty cents. I don't know how much my thing that I spent was, but to figure it out, I'm going to add, subtract, multiply, or divide. Subtract. How do I know that? Because I know from the last easier problem. Now, was it? Hear what you were going to say? Huh? How much money is this? Twenty dollars minus ten dollars and fifty cents is. And again, you're going to say that seems awful complicated.